And then you're terrified. What am I going to do? Nothing happened. You just got one letter from, from the government, or I don't know what, from the city hall. What am I going to do? What are they going to do? What can they do to me? Nothing. Really, they cannot harm you. Really, nothing can happen to you. And people are afraid. Oh, they're going to take my house. Let's say that they will take your house. Let's say that you will not. Oh, that house. I was working for that house 30 years of my life. <coughs> Let's say that you cannot stay and you must leave. And now what? <laughs> well, so what? <laughs> so, so leave. Okay, so now you're going to go. What's going to happen to you, really? You're afraid of dealing with those emotions. You're afraid of dealing with those thoughts. You're afraid to deal with... But if Hashem just wants to take you to another place and you have another place to be in, is it really, can you see the difference in living in your own house than living in a, in a rent house? Really, can you feel the spiritual difference between saying brachot in your own house than saying brachot in a rental house? Can you really feel the difference? There were huge righteous people that said, I'm not buying a property in Eretz Israel. There was a righteous man. What was his name? The Rosh Yeshivat Amikubalim. Uh, Rav, um, no, but the one that, what, his student. Rav Yosef. No. His student. Rav Tzion Bracha. No, I'm not talking about him. No. That someone that, that Hasid Gur wanted to buy the yeshiva for him, Rav Tzion Bracha it was, Yeshua. Yeshua, he's buried close to Rav Mordechai Shar Abi, that's his 